Okay, so here is how, oops, that's not good. Here is how your graph looks. Okay, so you should be back to your original position versus time, okay, with the quadratic fit. All right, so remember here, apply curve fit, make sure you have quadratic. Okay, and then also down here, uh, edit graph options. Make sure that you change it so that it shows the origin, zero, zero. Okay, so just make sure it looks like that. Okay, all right, so now we know if this is a position versus time graph, this is going to give you the instantaneous velocity by taking the slope of the tangent line, okay? Um, so this is really nifty. It has a little tool here in graph tools. If you click this and you put on the tangent line, okay, and then click out here, then you'll see that as you move to different places on the graph, it will give you that tangent line slope, okay, which makes it nice and easy. You could hand calculate it, right, like we did in the worksheet, but let's don't kill ourselves, all right? Uh, the only thing I want to caution you of is you see point one, okay, um, it doesn't, it's not really a tangent line, it's going through here, okay, and then the same thing, five looks okay, or the fifth point in mind, but the sixth point, oh, I can't even get it to come there. Oh, this is the sixth point. Okay, just make sure it looks like the tangent line, okay, because um, like see this one now on the last data point that I have, it's no longer tangent, it's going through it, all right? So I think the way that this calculates it, it only, like it needs to be not the first or the last point, okay? So even one looks a little whacked out, so I don't think I'd use one. Here, I would only start maybe with the second one that looks a little better than the third one, okay? Um, it could just be the way the program's drawing it. You could try to put the point in and see if it looks like it doesn't fit, in which case you could um, adjust it, but it doesn't look so good to me, all right? So I would just probably jot those somewhere. You could probably actually make another column here, right? If you wanted to make another um, another manual column, right? You could make velocity and you could just mark them in here. Uh, if you want to keep it all in one graph, that would be fine, okay? Or you could um, just write them down somewhere, all right? And then that's it. And then you'll change over here. You'll change it to velocity, okay? Or just make a new graph.